has not given us the spirit of bondage unto fear. It is fear that brings people to bondage. He has not. Look at that scripture. He has not given us the spirit of bondage. The problem never became real until you feared. Fear is actually a meditation over the devil's inspiration. He inspires you, you meditate. Some of you are having conference with Satan. In the midst of the storm, there is something you will know about God that makes you to take pill and sleep in the midst of the raging storm. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Second Timothy chapter 1. If you don't have faith, life does not function in a vacuum. It will not be said you are, you are, you are neutral. There's no neutral ground. It is either you have faith or you have fear. Yes. Therefore, don't choose not to have faith. Because you cannot be neutral. You will always be kept in the bondage of fear if you don't have faith. But when you receive Jesus, this is what you receive in verse 7. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. He said, for God had not given us the spirit of fear. But the spirit of power, power stays in charge. When people are elected in the place of influence, they say they are in power. Therefore, when you have power, you are in charge. When you are in power, you have influence. The Lord will show up. I'm telling you, it's never too late for God to show up. He that is joined to the living, there is hope. As long as you are still alive, there is hope for a living dog than a dead lion. How do you permit yourself to die? Yet yeah, to a lion. He said, he has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Romans chapter 8, quickly. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, verse 17. Okay. Romans 8, 15 first. Now read down. Look at this. Look at this. He said, for you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. Look at what fear does. Fear brings unusual bondage. My son, didn't you can't come to the point in your life where you felt like, what next can I do? How can I go through this? And you refused to fear. You just kept walking. And then suddenly you noticed that the night was actually a disguise training for the next level of your life. You cannot be stuck in life applying the principles of faith. Cannot. Don't give up, don't give in. He said, We are pressed down, but as for destroying us, we can be destroyed. Perplexed on every side, bear that pressure. Don't give up on God or talk against God. That means you're a fool. Because actually, what brought the pressure is that the devil wanted you to cause God and die. How do I know? Satan told God, The reason this guy has not caused you is that he has not seen pressure. Give me opportunity to give him pressure, he will cause God. So if you write that exam and cause God, you fail the exam. Always look for excuse to excuse God. God is not your problem. There is no badness in God, the devil is totally bad. There is no goodness in the devil. So when bad things happen, associate with the devil. Satan, I blame you. God is good. Even when he permits you to go through challenge, is to give you an experience that will make you a king. Our God is able. He's able. I know. I know my God is able to carry me through. It doesn't matter how hot it is. My God is able. He's able. I know. Set the captive free. Come on. 
He has healed the sea, he has raised the dead, and walks upon the sea. My God is Hallelujah. He's there. I know. Giving us the spirit of bondage unto fear, it is fear that brings people to bondage. He has not look at that scripture, he has not given us the spirit of bondage. The problem never became real until you feared. Yes, 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 it never became real until you feared. Fear is actually a meditation over the devil's inspiration. He inspires you, you meditate. Some of you are having conference with Satan, he sits you down and he's educating. He says, It's true. Hey, it's you. Didn't you know it happened like it's true? The moment you start meditating it, it begins to blow everything about light. Fear is bad. A man of God returned from a program and as he was on it, I saw an ugly being in the room. Very ugly being. He knew this was the devil. He said, wow, Satan, did you come? You are welcome. He continued changing his clothes. When you are done, you can go. We don't bind you. You know your place. Yes. You have been bound. <laughs> Jesus finished the work. He won't do another one. Yes, sir. So from the realm, you see, it's not ignoring the problem, but having faith over the problem. That's true. I'm telling you, don't be careless to ignore some things. Sometimes you cast it out. By the spirit of faith, the devil got ashamed and psh, off he's gone. You only cockroach in the cupboard can make you to do 12 days fasting and prayer all night vigil who has bewitched you he giveth his beloved sleep in the midst of the storm there is something you will know about God that make you to take pill and sleep in the midst of the raging storm it's not sleep of a sleepy man it's not sleep of a lazy man but the sleep of faith I'm not talking about people who sleep and say, Pastor says you should sleep. Now, no, you have to be alert. To. This is warfare. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if your prayers is by fear, there's no answer. <laughs> Let your prayers be provoked by the spirit of faith. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14. Quickly, quickly. Fear is a tormentor. Stop fearing possibilities, step into possibilities. For as much then as children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also likewise took part of the same. He identified with us. Why? So that through death. Are you seeing what I said, my son? Are you seeing what I said? He knew that if he was born, he would die. Now, he took part of the same, that is humanity. So that because of being man, he will be permitted to die. And that through death, he might destroy him that had the power of death, which is the devil. So it is only through death God can destroy death. Verse 15. And deliver them who through the fear of death were all their lifetime subject unto bondage. You see what fear does? The moment you are afraid of what you will become, the reality shows in your face. You will stop looking at Jesus and start looking at the serpent. And the serpent bites. I said the serpent does what? Bites. So when the serpent comes against you, Bible say, look unto Jesus, the bruising serpent, the better picture. Let your direction always be looking up. Look unto Jesus. He said, and we look to him, and our faces were lightened, and we were not ashamed. You cannot be ashamed looking up to Jesus. Your future is factored in. Receive faith for your future. You didn't hear that. Say, receive faith for your future many years I've gone I have seen I've conquered it is true I came like Joshua and Caleb to tell you all that he said is true why do people fear you stop looking at what God said you should look at and look at what he said you shouldn't look at they became their lifetime subjects because they feared so death had grip on them because they feared so refuse to fear Put your eyes on the promise of God and believe God for your future. It doesn't matter what you go through, there is grace 
for your life. Trust in the Lord with all your hearts. With all. Even if it's five minutes to go. Trust in the Lord. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Believe God unto death. He said because you have not resisted unto death. Esther said if I perish, I perish. The three Hebrew children said if God is God, he will come and deliver us. But in case he refused to come, we will not succumb. So we are not here for, for, for we are not doing, uh, uh, what do you call this? It's not game. I'm not trying to doubt or believe him. He is. My doubt doesn't change anything. So I'm the one that loses if I doubt. For I hear the Lord say, The oil I have put upon your head is the oil for this generation. The oil has put upon me is the oil for this generation. And therefore, I demand on that oil concerning God's people. Let the mystery around your future begin to be formed in the presence of the Lord right now. Every stone against your future be rolled away. And the people will say, Amen.